Good morning, class. I miss you. I hope you're doing okay, though, and that you're getting all of your work done. I have a surprise for you today. I'm just going to read a story, one of our books that we didn't get a chance to read yet, and I can't send it to you, so I think I'll read it to you. It's called, What Really Happened to Humpty? So, you know that story of Humpty Dumpty? Well, this is the real story of Humpty Dumpty. What really happened to him? Okay. It's a cool picture. He's a detective, evidently. They call him a hard-boiled detective, like a hard-boiled egg. Then they have a picture of Mother Gooseland. Pretty cool and colorful. What's going on there? They have the wall. Remember Humpty Dumpty sat on it and he fell off of it. You know that story, that one? Okay, here's another. What really happened to Humpty Dumpty? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty was pushed. At least I think so. Who am I? I'm Joe Dumpty, Humpty's younger brother. You probably haven't heard of me. I never was mother's favorite. Mother Goose, that is. Ever since she became police chief Goose, she thinks I'm just stirring up trouble with my detective business. Yes, Mother Goose always liked Humpty best. He's such a good egg. That's why I think it's a crime that he fell off the wall. After all, he'd been sitting up there for as long as I can remember with no problems whatsoever until that awful scrambled up day. Look at what's going on in that picture. So many different things. You have the police chief who is Mother Goose and you have um, them ha her having breakfast with Humpty Dumpty. Then you have Humpty's brother going by. I see three blind mice in the picture and lots of other Mother Goose characters. I love these pictures. They're so cool. It was a picture book perfect morning. The old woman who lives in a shoe had just dropped off her kids at the Jack and Jill daycare center. The three little pigs were putting the finishing touches on their latest house and across the field Humpty was sitting on the wall. I wish I'd stopped to crack a few jokes with my brother but it was Humpty's first week as captain of our new neighborhood watch program. I didn't want to distract him. So you see Humpty was sitting on the wall, what was his job? Why was he sitting on the wall? And what about, you see the three little pigs building their house? You know that story, right? And the woman who lives in a shoe had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Well, she took them to daycare. That's what she did. Next. Besides, it was almost nine and I had to get to work. I made a quick stop and ran into Little Red Riding Hood. The muffin man scrambling to fill a big order, Red said. I can't even buy one lousy muffin for my grandmother. She sniffed loudly and stomped off in a huff. With my espresso in my hand, I headed to the office. There's Little Red Riding Hood 
See, she got a red hood. And there is Humpty's brother getting his espresso. And the Muffin Man, there he goes. Next page. As I opened my office door, the phone rang. It was Little Miss Muffet. Joe, something's happened to Humpty. You remember Little Miss Muffet from kindergarten, maybe. She sat on a tuffet, eating her curbs away. Yeah, that one. That's her. I raced to the wall. Miss Muffet was there, cell phone in hand. I called 911, she sobbed. I looked at my brother. He wasn't making a sound. Who ever did this was gonna fry. What did she say? At least he landed sunny side up. Look at Humpty. Sun, I like sunny side up eggs. What about you? What's your favorite kind of egg? I walked back around the wall and that's when I saw it. Something shiny was tucked under Miss Muffet's tuffet. She was on the phone, so I didn't bother asking if I could look under her tuffet. I just did. Remember, Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curbs away? Well, that's the tuffet. What's under it? Sometimes detectives have to ask, act first and ask questions later. Hmm. What's under there? It was a pair of binoculars. Not just any binoculars. Those puppies were the official binoculars of the Neighborhood Watch program. Humpty had been showing them off ever since he'd become captain. Were you looking under my tuffet? She said. What are you doing with those? Muffy asked, grabbing the binoculars. I was just about to ask her the same question when... All the king's horses and all the king's men arrived. They couldn't put Humpty together again, so they scooped him up and rushed him to the hospital. What's the story, I asked Muffy. I want some answers, Muffy sighed. I just was, I, I, I was just shooting the breeze with Humpty, waiting for Spider. Humpty was letting me try his binoculars. Then suddenly, this huffy puffy wind blew him right off the wall. There's the king's horses and all the king's men. They're in the Humpty Dumpty rhyme. What do you think happened? The police chief, Goose, pulled up in her big honking cruiser. I was at the three pigs, she apologized. The wind we had this morning blew down their new house. I just told Joe that the wind made Humpty fall, Muffy said. I made Humpty fall, said a small voice out of nowhere. What happened to the pig's house? You know the story. Somebody huffed and puffed, right? But the small voice said, it's my fault, Spider said, dropping down from the tree. I was rushing to get down here by nine this morning, my usual time, when this puff of wind pushed me straight toward Humpty. I must have scared him because the next thing I knew, Humpty was on the ground. I zipped home, but I knew I had to fess up. Humpty was my friend. What did the spider say in the bubble? He said, I almost wet my web. <laughs> I'm 
going to read one more page and then I'll save the rest for later. Well, no, I'll stop here. What we'll do is read it in three parts. Um, it doesn't have a page number, so I'll just put a, a page holder there. And this will be part one today. Then you'll see part two in another video and part three in the last video. Okay, see you then.